it is an axial flap containing skin subcutaneous tissue and fascia with a ratio of 1 is to 3 Ponten was the first person to define the concept of fasciocutaneous flap in the leg in 1981. Ponten showed the importance of the defacia in the survival of the flap. When the fascia is included, the longitudinal anatomical vascular network, especially the suprafacial plexus, is preserved. These flaps are reliable, thin, and easily mobilized. The procedure is quick and easy to perform. There is no functional deficit and also no main artery sacrificed. Also, fasciocutaneous flaps limits the infection due to its blood supply but not as good as the muscle flaps. As it is thin, it is ideal for defects over the leg. Preoperative planning is important as the stiffness of the fascia makes rotation a little difficult. The flap in leg is usually proximal based in the ratio 1 is to 3. The anterior border is aligned posterior to the medial edge of tibia. The posterior border is the midline on the posterior aspect of the leg. Distal limit is 5 cm proximal to medial malleolus. The flap is useful to cover the anterior aspect of the knee, the proximal and middle third of the leg. Complications are more in smokers diabetes or poor vascular status. The flap should be larger than the defect to prevent tension and skin necrosis. The donor area is skin grafted. This male patient came with history of trauma to right knee joint. K wire fixation of femoral condyles was done at government hospital orthopedic department. He came to me after three weeks. On examination, knee joint was exposed with K-wire protruding out. Under spinal anesthesia, debridement was done. Fasciocutaneous flap was elevated and the knee defect covered with the fasciocutaneous flap. Donor area was skin grafted. Post-op photos after two months. Post of photos after 13 years.